Hello, and very happy to see you on my channel. This morning, we give you a piece of breaking news. Author Finding Freedom is known as Meghan's PR machine, claims Meghan Markle is the mastermind of Prince Harry's recent stupid actions. Last night, the authors of the couple's upcoming biography, Finding Freedom, have claimed Meghan Markle is the one behind Prince Harry on his very public woke journey. According to authors, the Duchess of Sussex, who is currently residing with her husband in Beverly Hills, Los Angeles, played a pivotal role in helping her husband become more attuned to racism. However, as we know it, the reaction to Harry's recent about racism at the Commonwealth Virtual Conference severely offended the Queen and her efforts over the years. At that time, Harry seemed trapped and awkward when he called on the Commonwealth to pa right past wrongs. As viewers agree, he looked like a hostage, and as a royal photographer claims, Prince Harry's criticism of the Queen's cherished Commonwealth shows he has lost the plot and should stop listening to his wife, Meghan. Speaking to the National Public Radio in the United States, Meghan's PR machine, Mr. Scobito, said, Harry's journey to wokeness has been very public. We've seen him learning and educating himself along the way, but this experience of witnessing Meghan face racist remarks and commentary would have been the first time he'd seen someone in his life or someone he was particularly close to affected by it in a certain way. But anyone would have a brain cell saw this coming. She looks like an evil ventriloquist, and he is her puppet. Everywhere, as she stares at him intently with her mouth frozen, probably hoping he remembers the words she made him memorize, Harry's been broken by the wife. He is a trophy for her. He's someone who could open doors to her she would never have had access to as a lowly serf. This has and always will be about her Harry along with Archie. There are pawns in her little game to mix with the A-listers and be part of Hollywood royalty. Pathetic. Wascobito says that there are things like that which Harry's really had to become more attuned to and learn to see when it happens in front of him. And Megan would have been the person that guided him on that journey. Indeed, I once have my doubts if these thoughts are really his. I'm afraid he has been brainwashed by this woman and forced to have a speech that is putting him away from his family and his country. It seems that he is being played beautifully by this woman and her mother. And what I suspect has come true. Megan is the one who stands behind Harry's extremely stupid actions. He's become Megan's mouthpiece, a downtrodden, weak-minded doormat doomed to a life of virtue signaling in the U.S. Together, they are a global laughingstock, but have no idea that's what people think. I'm pretty certain that what this vacuous diva does is jealous of Kate. Kate rode the initial storm by the media with good grace, and I'm sure a few tears. Shows she has the class and fortitude that this manipulative woman lacks. Harry is risking his mental health staying with her. Wallace Simpson was the same as Harry's great uncle. Wrote him a list of what he was to do each day while she lived her life to the full. <laughs> Meanwhile, it seems Megan's PR machine keeps pushing new news every day. First is, according to an exclusive interview of Daily Star, Brittany Barger, deputy editor of Royal Essential, claims Megan Markle could announce the A-list project to come at Finding Freedom Backlash, or she and Prince Harry could finally unveil plans for Archwell. As I said on the top, Meghan spoke about racism in the wake of the Black Lives Matter protests, while Prince Harry chatted with the UK-based charity, the Common Sense Network. This week, they will be under the spotlight. However, as biography Finding Freedom, written by Omid Scobie and Carolyn Duran, is set to be released. To deal with any backlash, Brittany Barger, deputy editor of Royal Central, said Meghan could release a new project off the back of the book. She told Daily Star Online it could be acting-related, citing the star's recent Disney hit, Elephant, but thinks it is more likely to be a charity-related. Miss Barter said, I think Megan could announce a new project off the back of Finding Freedom. It could be acting-related, but I believe it will be charity-related to something close to her heart. 
As they now live in the U.S., it could be Black Lives Matter focused or even something surrounding the pandemic to help those who have lost jobs, dealing with the loss of a family member or friend, or depression because of the ongoing health crisis. And the next PR news is, Meghan Markle is said to have become close pals with Adele, with the pair spending lots of time together at Pilates lessons. According to Mirror Online, Meghan Markle has grown close to the Brit singer since she and Prince Harry moved to Los Angeles earlier this year. They said, Adele lives a few minutes away from the couple's new home in Beverly Hills and often stops by to say hello. A source said, Meghan and Adele have been pa- having Pilates lessons. They are loving it. The instructor has also been giving lessons to Harry. It's a great stress buster. The source continues, The sessions are said to be helping Meghan forget her court battle with the Mail on Sunday, who she is suing for printing parts off a letter she wrote to her father. But many fans also mocked Meghan. The first wrote, Maybe they should ask for a comment from Adele before publishing, since Meghan puts out this type of information when it's not true. Remember how Lisa Minnelli was mentoring her, and Lisa came out and she never even met Meghan Markle. The second wrote, That will be a pub piece from the Duchess of Yacht Girl, Incorporated, as she was bored on a Saturday night and wanted immediate attention. Megatron told the paps exactly where she was, who she was going to be with. She uses everyone she meets. Harry is a laughingstock, because she was highlighted how little intelligence he has. He always has his speeches written for him, because he is thick. Meanwhile, in the latest news, Row Expert claims... Finding Freedom, triggering a PR nightmare for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Miss Angela Levin said on the Royal Talk, Meghan and Harry aren't really afraid to file lawsuits, especially when they feel that their privacy was breached. Finding Freedom was announced in May. We were told that the book will go beyond the headlines to reveal unknown details of Harry and Meghan's life together, dispelling the many rumors and misconceptions that plague the couple. There were even multiple articles saying that Meghan and Harry collaborated on it, even Vanity Fair said it, and yet Harry and Meghan did nothing to deny these connections. Well, that's not true. They did quite the opposite. They did everything in their power to show us how close Omid is to them. And then, suddenly, a few days ago, they released a statement saying, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex were not interviewed and did not contribute to finding freedom. Coincidentally, it was at that time that press published some extracts from this book. We could read about Kate and how she failed to help Megan, how it was Harry who said first, I love you, or that he proposed sooner. When I look at that statement, I have to applaud Harry and Megan's team. Really. Firstly, it doesn't really deny that they had something to do with that book, although many don't see it. And secondly, that interview part? If I were talking with friends who happen to be journalists writing a book about me, I wouldn't really consider our talks as interviews. And from what we see, Omid isn't really just journalist to Megan. Moreover, there are so many ways they could collaborate on that book. For example, edit the book, let their friends do the talking, or even write anonymous letters to Omid. Nothing from this was denied by Harry and Megan. Moreover, just recently, Judge said that Megan or someone from her team, is probably leaking information to Omid. Omid said it was a source close to her legal team, but let me tell you one thing. There is no way that lawyer representing someone like Megan would share information about that case with anyone, or even share photos of the file's cover page. This could be done only intentionally. This connection that is between Omid Scobie and Megan makes people question if the book was really written without Megan or Harry's help especially when it comes to information that is in the book. There aren't really that many people who would know about it, like Harry's private Instagram. When he was dating Megan, he would want it to remain private, so why share it with other people? To sum it up, they release way too late on their statement, in which they say that they have nothing to do with that book, and every day they prove how close Omid is to them or their teams. Moreover, there is no lawsuit against all those tabloids and other press that spoke about their involvement in that book, and the content of the book shows us that it had to be someone really close to Harry and Meghan to know about these kinds of things. 
But the worst part of this PR nightmare is that Harry and Meghan are linked to a book that insults almost every member of the royal family. On one hand, Sussexes try so hard to be seen as part of the royal family. Hey, we zoomed with the queen on her birthday. She even saw Archie. And on the other, they accuse Kate of not helping Meghan enough? These kinds of things are what can cost them their titles, patronages, and even money from Charles. Why should the royal family support someone like Harry and Meghan when all they do is complain about the royal family? And you, what do you think about this book? Please let me know in the comment section below and we'll discuss them together. If you feel so preferred with my video, remember to like and share it with anyone you think also loved it. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get more news from the royal family members. Now, have a nice day and see you in the next videos.